Hi, Cancerians. Welcome back to Born Without Boundaries. This is all about you. This is about your oracle and tarot card reading and predictions for the week ahead. So for the next seven days, Cancer sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever cancer influences your chart. You can take these energies and apply. If it doesn't fit, please don't squeeze it. Cancerians, let's get right into your reading. We're going to start with the Oracle card. The link to the extended, articulated, full tarot card spread is in the description box below. Cancerian sun, moon, and rising for the week ahead. Cancerian sun, moon, rising for the week ahead. Cancerians, you had an extremely powerful reading, both in the romantic tarot and in the Gemini full moon predictions. Please check those out, Cancerians. And bam, lump sum, everything just came out with you. Everything just fell out with you. Let's do one more shuffle to see if any crowning energy pops out for Cancerian sun, moon, rising. Crowning energy for the next seven days. Challenges and messages coming through for Cancerians. 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 It's on the table. Crowning energy. Set healthy boundaries. This is a this is a hard one for us. Cancerians, our our constant struggle is look at look at the tenderness in his eyes. And that's what I see, and that's what I know about us. And you see, this is three. Healthiness. Health. Three is three is holy balance, right? It's the Trinity. It's body, mind, and soul. It's also Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It's also three corners of a triangle, which is one of the strongest, sturdiest shapes in existence. There is holy balance when it comes to three. One would think about balance is really two. Balance isn't two, is it? Think about a scale. There's one, there's one um, platform on one side, there's a platform on the other, but what, what is really making them or making them feel connected to each other to understand the equilibrium, there's something in the center, isn't there? So this is about real balance and real boundaries. Knowing where your center is so that you can put the right elements on either side, not giving too much or taking too much away. There is, when this card comes up, an issue when it comes to balance. When it comes to, are your walls too high? Are they too thick? Are they too hard? Can nobody permeate them? And that's making you miserable because it's making you feel isolated. And we are not a sign that likes to feel isolated, are we? No, there's something of a barrier here. Look at those tender, tender eyes. Those please love me eyes. Love me, love me, love me. Please love me. But then all of this hardcore, got the earrings all up and down his ear, got the hard jet, like jet, le jet leather jackets on, this like hard exterior shell. Who are you trying to be with this hard ass? Who are you trying to be? Are you trying to be lonely? because that's exactly what you're making yourself. Sad, sad. And look at this tender beast underneath. This is our nature, it's our dichotomy. It's being tough and hard and aggressive on the outside and underneath being this ooey gooey gush that just needs and begs to be loved. But this is some letting somebody see that tender side. Letting somebody just, even just for a second, catch a glimpse this week of that, that gentle side inside of you that actually really wants to be loved and needs to be guided. Of, of somebody getting that peak. Now let's see if that somebody respected you. If you are on a platform that allows for commercials, I'm going to put one in here. I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Thank you for your patience. Now for those of you who did not watch a commercial, Lucky you. For those of you who did, thank you because that actually helps to support the channel. Let's keep moving on. Now is a lucky time. And you know what I think is really, really lucky and fortunate? Um, this is, well, first of all, this is a card about duplicating your abundance. So whatever abundance you already have, it's magnifying. And I was very, I told you guys, be very careful with what you manifest this week or how you're manifest, what you're manifesting, what you're focusing on, because you're going to, it's going to be magnified. It's going to be multiplied rapidly. So understand that you have that power this week. 
understand that if what you need is really to be noticed, oh, there's just sort of this break, Cancerian. To be totally honest with you, we're going to get lucky. There is a lucky breakthrough. And when I did this week's um, tarot card reading for the Gemini full moon, I wasn't sure of this, but now I'm sure of this. This is a lucky breakthrough. This is a lucky change because it's like finally somebody notices that tender one underneath. Finally, somebody gets it. Somebody who actually cares enough to get it. Dream the world into being. You're going to take those pasts, that past, and all those ghosts that haunt you, and all that guilt that's dragged you down, or that feeling of not being good enough. You're going to take it all, and you're going to blast it into the future. You're going to use it as your rocket fuel to ride right into the world that you want to create and the world that you want to be. This is literally letting somebody see your demons, letting somebody see the underbelly. Why? Because that's your fuel tank and you're tired of hiding it. You're letting go. There's a tremendous sense of letting go, as in letting go of your own harsh expectations for yourself releasing this energy of I have to be this and condemning myself for everything that I am being such a harsh critical judge on who you are and saying I'm laying it bare let them see my demons let them see let them see it because you walk through life every day Cancerian trying to make life better for everybody else by ignoring those hardships and and hiding those demons of your own and then not anymore not anymore Bring a gentle touch. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This could be about, let's I said, redemption or exoneration. Somebody, once again, seeing that tender side of you and being able to forgive it, being able to love it, being able to embrace it and accept it back into its arms because bottom line, they love you. This is also a card of love. This is one plus one plus eight, 18, one plus eight is nine. So this is almost like wishes coming true or this feeling of things coming to a, a culmination, um, something drawing to a conclusion. Clear out the clutter, letting go. And this is your card. This is a card of maturation, a card of knowing what you what has been holding you down. And I think it's been a little bit insidious for us, hasn't it? It's been a sense of ourselves constantly condemning everything that we do and in the presence of others pretending like everything is okay. I think this is you letting, letting that go, letting go that need to be a perfect being and just letting all your warts and scales and say, look, listen, there's no prince here. There's no prince. It's just a frog. You're going to love me for being a frog and, and if that's not good enough for you, I'm going to hop away because the bottom line is... The bottom line is, Cancerian, you are who you are and you can't go through life trying to transform into what is right for somebody else. Take time out. This is healing. What did I say? There's going to be this protective energy, this almost, this protective, like, I don't know if it's actually a person, but it's this energy of, I'm going to give cancer a second, just for a second. And what I say, nine, nine. This is, I'm going to give you a break. I'm going to give you a time out. I'm going to give you a reprieve to just, like, I'm going to protect you so that you can take that really heavy shell that's itching you like crazy, so that you can take that off and just air out that softness underneath. You see how much he's suffocating? Oh my God, so much he's hurting. He just needs to take the shell off. It's too heavy. The shell, the burden that is hiding who you are so that everybody else feels protected. It's just, it, you've got it. This is, this is the week that you get somebody else to protect you, somebody else to stick up for you, somebody else coming in and saying, no, I've got your back. I've got your back. They're going to stand up for you. They may even speak to your defense, like literally how this translates into the 3D world. They may even speak to your defense. And, and stick up for you so that you don't have to fight so hard or defend yourself so hard. Be at home, the place that you feel safest. This could also be coming from a family member that defends you or sticks up for you. But there is this sense of you being able to open up, see the green, being able to open up your heart chakra. Um, six plus eight is 14. Four plus one is five. That's your change is you being able to actually be happy with who you are and open up your heart chakra. 
open that up. And I think it's something that we really needed to open up because it's been, what is it? It's been suffocated for some, for some reason it's been suffocated for so long. And I think it's because we just, we are just intent on uh, constantly obsessing on impressing somebody else and apologizing for being who we are. No, 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 no more. Open up your heart chakra means not you understanding them, but you being honest with, with who you are so that they can understand you. And accepting if they don't understand you, then they're not for you. And letting go doesn't mean that you failed. It means that you've just been liberated. Learn from the past. Oh my God. Listen, if any sign holds on to the past, it's us. It's us. And we've got plenty of stuff stored up in our memory. We're constantly quoting the past. We're constantly thinking of the past. Well, now let's do something for ourselves with the past. Let's learn from it. Let's say, has this behavior ever gotten us anywhere? How many times in the past has it ruined relationships or opportunities? Because everybody else is out there loving themselves and we're out here judging ourselves. This is somebody coming back and, and basically, once again, a very protective, defensive energy of giving you that time and giving you that strength, reminding you who you are so that you love who you are, so that you learn from the past so that you're not doomed to repeat it. Look at where you'd be if you were, look, that's the crowning energy. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. And this is that energy, that crowning energy of, it's a lot, it's a big burden. And right now, it's almost like somebody is coming forward to protect you from that burden, to take it off of you and help you learning from the past so that you don't have to repeat. This could be like family karma, like a family curse type of energy that you're able to break away from because somebody before you has taken the heavy hit for you and has stood up for you. And they have been able to release you from that karmic pattern so that you can be free coming back home being happy, actually having a home, being released from the energy of repeating other people's mistakes and you being able to actually live your own life. This is freedom from the past. Freedom from the past. Beautiful energy. Sometimes life stings. There could be a message coming back from the past. There could be a message coming to you to remind you to not make the same mistake again. And you'll feel that sting, but see it's six, four, it's 10. This cycle is over, it's ended. This is the grounding energy. So it's ended, the pain has ended, but you should never forget the lesson that it taught you. Because it's something that you need to remember now before you lay another brick on your back and decide to take another burden for another person, why? What is it? Forget about what are they doing for you. What is it doing to you? Look at it. If you're begging, love me, love me. But do I, what, at what cost? I'm just going to take the weight of everything and be drowned in my own shell. No, learn, 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 and drop the clutter. You have got to let go. The full moon energy is asking you to do it. It's insisting that you just liberate yourself. Gemini, a core tenet that Gemini teaches us is to stay untethered, to stay free, to feel free and to liberate ourselves from the burdens, not responsibilities, from burdens, a feeling captive and tied down. Cancerians, we do this to ourselves. We, cap we make ourselves captive. We tie ourselves down. And so this is letting ourselves be free and throw off that crown that's weighing us down. Ooh, ooh. Sometimes life sings. Transformation is beautiful. Your life is, your life is transforming. What did you go from? You went from a little caterpillar to living. You went from living into a crushed cocoon, crushed cocoon where you felt safe and warm, but you were so suffocated. And now you can be free. There's a, there's a gem, there's a, there's a butterfly here. There's the wings. 
finding your tribe, finding the people who really accept you for who you are and see everything that you can be. The people who lead you to be the best of yourself instead of the worst of yourself. Those people who liberate you and free you. Those people who won't let you take another burden on your shoulders because so often people are so willing to do it. Finally, meeting those people could be a Taurus energy. Um, yeah, it could be a Taurus energy, could be Aquarius, could be a, a Scorpio energy. This is an energy of I will protect you. This is an extremely protective energy. So I'll be your shell so you don't have to be. And if they're not doing that for you, Cancerian, you're better off on your own. Bring your ideas to life. <sighs> There's a breakthrough here. Let me give me a second. Six. So four, this is 24. Two plus four is six. This could have to do with romance and love because the six is the lovers in the original tarot deck. But this could, this could be something that you love. This is also a creation, something that you bought to life, coming through, breaking through, breaking through. There's a huge breakthrough that's happening this week, and it has to do with something that's very close to your heart space, very close to home. A breakthrough is going to hit very close to home, very close to home. And it's a good breakthrough. It's a defensive breakthrough. It's a powerhouse. It's somebody coming up and standing up for you. You always stand up for everybody else. This is somebody that's going to finally do it for you. This is an energy of literally, literally, it's just breaking through. You can't stop these two energies. They're just bursting. Bear and bull. Bear and bull. The market, the market is on your side. Invest this week, Cancerian. Invest. <laughs> I'm just saying it's, it's on your side. This is energy of breaking through. Ooh, let me flip the camera angle around so we can review this energy. You know, our clinginess is legendary. It is. People make fun of it. People talk about it. But we do. We hold on for a very long time. But boy, oh boy, when we let go, it's almost like we never knew you. And there's this energy this week of in our own defense, Letting somebody else go. Letting go of the burden that somebody else causes us, makes us feel, right? The burden that we put on ourselves. They probably haven't, they've let us take it on, sure. But overall, we've put it on ourselves. We've said, yes, may I, may I have another? Yes, sir, may I have another? Till we are just like dying under our own weight. Look at, oh my God. This little guy, I just want to hug him and kiss him. He just needs a freaking hug. And like nobody sees that. All they see is the hard shell. Nobody sees it. Nobody sees it. So what do you do? This is you at the center of your reading. So this week, you have to put yourself at the center of your life. It has to be you above others. It has to be you, Cancerian. Pull yourself outside of yourself and treat yourself as if you were your best friend. How would you treat your best friend? What would you give to your best friend? What advice would you give to your best friend? Don't treat you like you. Treat you like you would treat your loved one. You would treat your son or your daughter or your best friend or your mother or your lover. How would you treat those people? You have to treat them the way that you, you have to treat yourself the way that you would treat them. Let go, let go of the burdens of feeling like you have to always hide or you have to always hold back who you are. Let go. People are going to defend you and stick up for you this week. You're going to have the defense, the defense team. This is the dream team, the dream defense team. It's going to come through. It's going to break through and protect your heart so that you don't have to. You can take off that shell this week, Cancerian. You can do it. You can say, this is me. This is very gentle, loving energy. Tenderness. There's a, there's a tenderness toward you this week. There's somebody looking at you with love, even seeing your demons and loving them. But you know what? They can't see them unless you release them. And I swear to God, this week you have that, you have that nerve. You have that, those, you have the, you just do. You just, you just do. You bear it all. This is me. 
This is me. And if you can't accept me for me, then you don't accept me at all. <clears throat> we don't come in pieces. I don't come in pieces. You know, I'm not this hard ass that you need. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Or I'm so, sorry, not sorry. I really feel like that, that's, that's the message of this reading. Sorry, not sorry. It may hurt me. It may hurt me to be willing to let you go. It may hurt me to be willing to let this. It hurts me to be willing to take off the shell. It's been stuck to me so long. And it's grown so thick. It's hurting me like chains that have been on somebody their whole life coming off. It almost feels like it's torment and torture when those chains come off because underneath that skin is so raw. But that's okay. Because luck is here. Okay? Fortune is favoring you this these next seven days. And the way that it's doing it is you're going to get the protection that you need to be able to let go and bear yourself to the world. I want you to repeat after me. I am not a frog prince. I am a frog. You love me, my scales and all, or you let me go and hop away. There is no other option. I am not getting a facelift or turning into what you need me to be. This is me. This is me. This is me. And in that moment, you transcend who you are. You transcend everything that you are. You become more than a prince. You become this butterfly who can fly away. You are liberated. You are freed. There could be something that comes through, a shocking change. But since all of these cards are upright, you see how this is pain? Yeah, the chrysalis is pain. Liberation is pain. Where once there was captivity, it's pain, but something comes through and breaks through. I swear to God, it's almost like, I, I'm going to say this, it's like somebody comes to save you. And they do it with tenderness and understanding. They just listen. They don't turn, they don't run. This is an unconditional acceptance. And wow, it almost, it feels so good, it almost hurts because it's been so long since we've experienced it. I'm gonna continue the reading. I'm gonna continue the reading. The link is below and your romance reading for the next seven days will be over there too. Definitely, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll attach it above. Definitely check out the Gemini uh, full moon as well as the romantic tarot. I'll see you guys over there.